Hello and welcome to Rocket Systems YouTube channel. Today in this video and in the coming videos we are going to work on computer vision scripts on Jetson Nano. In this whole series we will be doing object detection on almost all type of objects be it a cat, dog, airplane, car, bikes, humans and etc. We will be using Python and our main hardware will be Jetson. I am currently using Jetson Xavier but if you have Jetson Nano or Xavier NX or AGX you can still follow up with this tutorial. By the end of this series you will be able to do inferencing very easily on any image file, video file or any other RTSP camera. So let's get started. So before we start we need to prepare our hardware. As I already mentioned you can use any Jetson hardware from a Jetson family. And along with that you will also need a monitor to connect with it and you will also need keyboard, mouse and network connection. So first thing is that you will have to install Jetpack OS on your SD card. I would recommend you to have at least 32 GB of an SD card and you can easily download the Jetpack OS from Nvidia's website. I'll put the link in the description box and then you can easily download the SD card image by clicking on this button. Once you have the SD card image you can use software like Itcher or any other a simple OS burning software and then you can simply burn this OS on your SD card and plug it in your device and then it will simply start to boot up. Once you have successfully installed the Jetpack OS and when you are inside the OS I would recommend you to install XFCE. XFCE is a very lightweight desktop environment and it actually speeds up the whole activity inside your Jetson device. And the installation is also very simple. You can open up a terminal and simply type sudo apt get install x xfce4 this will install xfce once it is installed you can reboot your system and at the login prompt you just have to select xfce environment from the settings icon and then you will be inside the xfce i have already in installed xfce so i am not going to install it again now once that is done what we need to do is we need to check the python version so when you install the jetpack os the python already comes pre-installed with it so if we type python 3 here it will show us the python version my current version is 3.6.9 so next thing we need to do is we need to install some of the libraries which we'll be using in whole of our series now first library which we need to install is opencv python now opencv already comes pre-installed when you when you install the jetpack os so you can verify it by importing the cv2 library in your python uh, python 3 prompt so i'll type import cv2 and it has not thrown any errors which means the cv2 is installed so i can also see which version is installed by typing version command and it will tell me 4.1.1 is currently installed but for some reason if it is not installed in your jetpack os you can easily install it by typing pip3 install opencv dash python this will now install uh, python in your sorry opencv in your python now next package which we need to install is numpy so you can easily install that by using pip3 install numpy i think i have already installed this so it's not going to install it again yes it's already installed now next package which we need to install is imutils. We will also be using this package in order to resize the frame. So I will simply install it by using pip3 install imutils. So this is also installed. Now last package which we will need is scipy. So we can install scipy using pip3 install scipy. I think I've already installed this one as well. So it's saying requirement already satisfied. But in your case you can install any package using pip3 command. Now once that is complete, we need a good Python IDE to create our scripts. Now there are a lot of IDEs which you can install but Jetson being a very low performing device, I mean it doesn't have a very high GPU, high RAM or high CPUs. So we need to use something which is lightweight and we can easily write our Python scripts on it. You can obviously use the default idle which comes with the Python installation but I would recommend you to install VS Code. So I will be using VS Code for, for writing all of my Python SKs but you are free to use any other software you need. But I have personally seen that VS Code works perfectly fine on Jetson device. So in order to install VS Code what you need to do is you need to first go online and then here type VS Code for Jetson Nano. And you will find this repository 
it's on github under the name of jetson hacks nano and then from here you can clone this repository and then easily run any of these two scripts to install vs code on your system i have already installed this let me just show you so once that is installed inside the development you will notice the visual studio code and you can launch it from here so once you have python and all the libraries installed and vs code setup i think we are ready to go with our series and you can then simply open up the visual code to write all of the scripts which i will be using in this in these videos now another thing i want to mention here is that if you are using monitor keyboard and mouse for a jetson nano then it's totally fine you, you can skip this particular part but if you don't have an extra monitor and you will be connecting remotely to your jetson device then you probably need a remote software so there are two options you can either use vnc you can enable vnc on your uh, remote uh, on your jetson device and then you can download vnc viewer on your windows laptop to remotely connect to your jetson device or you can use no machine I have personally felt that no machine works very faster than than VNC so I would recommend you to install no machine no machine installation is very simple you can simply download let me just show you so if you go online and simply type no machine for Jetson Nano you can go on this particular link and then from here you can simply download its binary file and simply install it then on your windows or an ubuntu laptop you can download no machine and then you can remotely connect to it i am currently connected to my jetson device using the no machine connections i'm also not using the monitor keyboard mouse option if you are still uh, if you still have few any issues with the no machine you can watch my previous video on how i have set up no machine on my jetson device it's very simple to install so I guess that's all for this video. This was just a bit introduction and installation video for how you can install Python and all other libraries which you need. Probably from the next videos we will start to use OpenCV and some of the scripts and then we will be doing inferencing on all of the objects. So thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel.